And that's the Ghost of Hoy quest complete. We now have access to the Exa file, which teleports us to the altar that we are going to be using for a very long time, I, I suppose. But yeah, two quest points, Exa file, and 2.4k prior XP, which is nice. I think that gets us a level, which is good. And that also doesn't unlock Protect from Magic, but the Dragon Bones we have in our bank will definitely do that. So I'm going to go do that for a little while. And yeah, see you once that is done done probably see once we get to 43 once we've got through all the dragon bones and there is 43 prayer meaning we can now do protect from melee was going to come in handy when we do some slayer and some other bits but yeah i'm going to just use up the rest of these dragon bones to see what kind of level we get i think we could actually be close to another level so we can unlock eagle eye which would be amazing but yeah, according to Runelight, I'm getting about 500k XP from doing this method. Yeah, I probably made a few too many of these. <laughs> Went a bit overboard with killing the dragons, but that's fine. We're going to go back and hopefully get another... Well, we're going to quickly get another level here. And there is 44 prayer for Eagle Eye. Alright, we've run out of bone... Uh, slime for this one, but yeah. Didn't expect it to get us to 44. I knew it was going to get us to 43, but it's really nice that we managed to get an extra level from that. And we've only got one more bone to do, so we might as well do that as well. All right, so now we've managed to get to 43, actually 44 prayer, we can actually go do some more difficult bosses. We could probably attempt the Dragon Slayer quest as well. Along with Demon Slayer, uh, having this prayer will make things a lot easier. Especially when we're killing Elvarg, we can literally just protect from magic, kill the boss, and then get the quest over and done with. And that was a quick quest. The elemental workshop is complete. We now have the elemental shield, 33 crafting, we can now craft vials, and 33 smithing. We need one more level so we could do Dragon Slayer 2, so yeah, that'd be great. Thought I might as well complete part 2 as well, so there's 7k smithing and 7k crafting. We can now make the elemental shield, 36 smithing made and crafting. We seem to be getting these two up at the same time, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I'm actually going to make the elemental shield as well, I believe, if that were. Dang it. Right. I forgot I know how to make the elemental shield, but we'll go do that in, in a moment. Or the mine shield. Right, so I did attempt to complete the Dragon Slayer quest, but unfortunately we got to Elvarg and it was just hit. I wasn't hitting hard enough. So I'm just going to try and get my range level up a little bit. As you can see, we're only at level 28. I want to try and get to 30, as well as um, 18 Slayer, so we can do the Animal Magnetism quest to unlock the Ava's Attractor, uh, which will give us a bit of a range boost, as well as the ability to get, I think, 60% of our bolts that we use back, and our bo our bolts and arrows back. So that'd be good to use. So I'm going to go do some Slayer. I'm going to head down to the uh the varrock basement or underground and get a slayer from vanaka i think his name is so we're going to see if we can get a pretty decent one hopefully it's something that we can do and it's not too difficult and preferably not in the wilderness and for our first slayer task on the account ogres oh wow that's actually quite a decent one i'm gonna go kill him at the castle wars area that is also a medium task done for varrock we're just gonna go kill him over here if it's available so, so yeah, it's quite a decent place to do some range because I used to do this a lot on my main account. And there is 10 Slayer. We can now kill Crave Crawlers. Kind of wish I got a bit of an easier Slayer task because these things take a very long time to kill. Especially with my really bad late range level and range bonuses. But yeah, we're getting it done. We've killed four so far, I think. No, three. We've killed three. This is actually wrong. This is... I started at 67, so this is actually wrong. Okay. And we've just hit 18 Slayer, so we, now, we can now go do the Animal Magnetism quest. I'm actually going to stay here a bit longer. Actually, no. I'm going to go do the quest, and then I'm going to come back here and finish off the rest of these 24 Ogres. But yeah, let's go complete that quest and get ourselves a backpack. And we managed to complete the Ava's Animal Magnetism quest for the Ava's Attractor, giving us a grand total with 1,000 crafting... Fletching and Slayer XP, as well as 2,500 Woodcutting XP, along with, obviously, the Backpack. I do believe we get a couple levels from this. We get two Slayer levels, which is nice. We can now go Rock Slugs. Uh, I think that's one crafting level. Yep. Uh, rabbit Foot Necklaces, and that is it, I believe. And we have also hit the 775 total level. That is really nice. But the Backpack is the main reason we did this. 
obviously we will eventually upgrade to the next one uh, but we need 50 range for that so I'm gonna have to get that done I think what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna do a little bit more Slayer we do still have our Ogre tasks to do so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing that now we have the um, attractor it should be a bit quicker but we'll just have to wait and see all right so there is our first Slayer assignment complete on the Iron Man we did actually manage to get a couple range levels as you can see we got I think two range levels in this one session after getting the backpack along with two slayer levels just from completing the task so that's quite a nice little milestone to get but yeah i will definitely go and grab myself another slayer task obviously i want to start doing other quests as well so i'll probably between each slayer task i might do a couple quests and then go back to slayer but we're going to go heads back to vanaka get another task and hopefully it's not going to be as slow as this one was Oh, also, uh, I did actually manage to get a Renner and an Irrit Seed and a Snape Grass Seed from killing those Ogres. So, yeah, that's quite a nice little addition to the bank. We actually have some really decent seeds. I know we already have a couple seeds from Winter Todd, but it's nice to actually get some decent ones like Renner Seeds, even though we can't use them for a while. All right, back at Vanica for another task for Hill Giants. Okay, that's not too bad. We can do that. Well... I just managed to get my first ever curved bone on the Iron Man. That is really rare, I think, from Hill Giants. I think it's like 1 in 3,000. I'm probably incorrect with that. But yeah, that's a nice little thing to get. That's easy construction XP when we get to uh, doing the quest that allows us to trade them in. All right, in one more hit, we should be able to get a range level of 40 range. Which is amazing. We can now wear green D hides, which is nice. U, cro U bows, rune throne weapons, which is nice. Ranger boots, if we eventually get them, and the Robin Hood hat. Um, but yeah, the main thing about this is being able to wield dragon hide armor. We can finally upgrade this trash gear. I do believe we have to do a quest to unlock green dragon hide, but well, I'll do some research because I haven't done it in such a long time. I'll find out and then hopefully upgrade my gear in the future. And Elvarg is finally dead. Oh, that took a very long time. Can't believe we finally managed to complete this, though. Plop his head off. Or her head, actually. There we go. Elvarg's head, now in our inventory. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we managed to complete Dragon Slayer Quest. I was about to say Dragon Slayer 2, but we're a long way away from that, unfortunately. But we now have the ability to weld full rune iron... Uh, plate bodies as well as the dragon hide stuff along with a bunch of attack uh, strength and defense xp if we close this i'm hoping we get to 40 strength and defense but we'll have to see can i buy rune now no thank you 39 so close see how much xp away we are from the level 1000 on each so yeah we're gonna have to go do some training before we can buy the rune armor but i do actually want to buy the green dragon hide from him so we're gonna do that quick but yeah, I'm going to see you guys once I've got 40 defense and we come back here to buy our full rune, basically. Right, so I've just gone ahead and bought the rune plate body and the green D hide body. We can, can't even wear that just yet because we need 40 defense. So once we're going to go grab that quickly. Probably just going to go finish off the Slayer task of Hill Giants and hopefully we'll be able to get at least the defense level so we can then wield full rune. I also need to find a place to buy rune plate legs because at the moment we're currently rocking the Iron Man leggings. <laughs> and this is the scuffed gear that we actually killed Elvarg in. Um, I'd be embarrassed if I died to this, I would not lie. But yeah, we're going to go get the defense level quick and hopefully, well... Yeah, hopefully we can find a place to get rune, iron, rune leggings and the rest of the dragon hide. And we've finally managed to get 40 defense. We can now wield rune iron armor. Right, so I've just managed to get 40 strength. I'm going to continue this slayer task and then I'm going to go buy the armor. Right, so we're going to go buy the rune plate legs and the green, de green dragon hides from the shop in the Champions Guild. I'm also going to buy the rune longsword. It's going to leave us with a grand total of 9k cash, which is not very good, but... We're going to have to try and make some money soon. Um, one thing I need to buy also is a Ruin Helmet. And I'm not 100% sure where to get one just yet. So I'm going to quickly do some research. See if I can find one or probably kill some monsters to get one. Because that will be the best option. And there is the Corsair Curse complete. We now have access to the Corsair Cove. Also we're going to go do some Ogres uh, Warriors killing. But I need to speak to the guy in the bank just so we can have access to this area. 
I'm going to get myself geared up to go kill them, and then hopefully we can get a um, rune helmet very quickly. Finally managed to get a runite med helm from the shamans. Oh uh, no, ogresses. That took a very long time. Let's get out of here. Right, I'm not going to lie. The runite helmet, uh, rune med helm does look a bit dopey, but it is our best in slot currently. I do still want to get a full helm, but obviously that will have to wait. Uh, I could go back to the ogresses and try again and get, well, try and get another like 30 odd kills and hopefully get another one. But this is our current gear setup. We do have to get a better kite shield. Um, I'm hoping to find a place to get a rune out one soon. Or we can save that and get to 60 attack and strength and try out the warrior's guild to try and get a rune defender. Or maybe even dragon defender once we get to 60 defense. But for now, I think we're going to go do some other bits. I'm really happy that we managed to complete the Dragon Slayer quest for the Ruin Plate Body and the ability to wear the Green Dragon Hide. But yeah, we need to start working on upgrading a few bits like our Amulet of Accuracy, Fancy Boots, Leather Gloves, and the Mithril Kite Shields. Um, so I'm going to work out what I want to do next, and I'll see you once we're there. So there we go, I've just completed the Romeo and Juliet quest. It's kind of pointless considering he goes off with Julia in the end anyway, so yeah, it's kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Priest in peril, completed. And that is Demon Say Slayer complete. Unfortunately, we got interrupted by the wizard, but the quest is definitely complete. As you can see here. Right, well, now that we've managed to finish off Demon Slayer, we have now completed all of the free-to-play quests in Old School RuneScape on the Iron Man, which is absolutely amazing. Next, we obviously have to work on all of the members' quests, and there's quite a few of them. Get out of my face. Now, we've actually accomplished quite a lot in this video. Obviously, we've managed to complete Dragon Slayer, so we now have the ability to wield full rune, as well as the green dragon hides. We've got the Ava's Attractor. I will eventually upgrade this to the Accumulator, but I do need to get 50 range before we do that. We also got the Elemental and Mind Shield, along with the Silverlight, and obviously our Rune Longsword, which we are currently wielding. But yeah, I'd like to say a quick thank you for everyone watching this video. You guys have been smashing the like goals and everything in the previous episodes. Uh, I haven't actually set one for this video, but I plan. I don't plan to actually set like that many like goals in the future, so I'm not going to bother. But yeah, I'd like to say thank you for everyone liking the videos. I will see you in the next one, and goodbye.